Now, in this uh, video, we're going to talk about the division of complex numbers. Division on complex numbers is actually kind of different from what we were previ previously doing. And the reason for that is because when we divide complex numbers, our goal is to get only real numbers in the denominator. So I only want to have real numbers in the denominator. And in order to do that, I have to introduce something called the conjugate of a complex number. Now the conjugate of a complex number is going to be the exact same number that I had. Let's call this our complex number a plus bi. And the conjugate of it would be a minus bi. So it's ex exactly the same digits, only you switch the sign or you have an opposite sign. So down here you can see that I have a complex number being added and its conjugate would be subtraction. If I started with subtraction, the conjugate would be addition. Now what that gets me is if I multiply a complex number by its conjugate, I end up with no imaginary numbers in the result. Now we can see that by an example that we did um, in the previous video where I had 2 plus 7i and I multiplied it by, unbeknownst to you, its conjugate of 2 minus 7i. And when I multiplied those two uh, terms together, then I ended up with a result that was only a real number and no imaginary numbers in it because our middle term ends up disappearing. That's what's special about it. So now let's go back here and let's talk about if I divide complex numbers, then I'm going to use a conjugate to get rid of an imaginary number in the denominator. And this is what it looks like. So I have this example right here, 3 minus 4i, divided by the complex number 4 plus 3i. Now these are not the same complex numbers. And so the conjugate that I'm interested in is the denominator's conjugate because that's the position or that's the place where I don't want to have any imaginary numbers. So we are going to multiply top and bottom by the conjugate of the denominator. So the conjugate would be 4 minus 3i and I multiply the numerator by 4 minus 3i because that's the same thing as multiplying by 1. Now from here, it's just a simple multiply numerator to numerator and denominator to denominator. So the numerators, I'm going to use FOILs. So I have 3 times 4, which would be 12. That's the first. Then we do the outers, which would be negative 9i. The inner, which would be negative 16i. And the last, which is negative, uh, excuse me, negative 4 times a negative 3, which would be positive 12i squared. And we'll simplify this a little bit further in a second. Now on to the denominator. When I am multiplying a number by its conjugate, again, I do not end up with a middle term, which is where that imaginary number would give me. Kind of like up here, I'm going to end up with an imaginary number in a middle term. So the denominator looks like this. 4 times 4, which would be 16. And then we do the outer. 4 minus 3i is a negative 12i. And the inner would be 3 times 4, which is 12i. So minus 12i plus 12i means I'm getting rid of that. I have a zero that part, for that part. Now the last term is negative 9i squared. Okay, so from here we're going to simplify further. And I'm going to go ahead and get rid of my i squareds. Uh, so I can kind of clean this up. Remember, i squared is a negative 1, and negative 1 times 12 is negative 12. And we're going to do the same thing down here on the denominator. Uh, i squared is a negative 1, and a negative 1 times negative 9 is a positive 9. Okay, so the numerator. We have 12 minus 12, so the 12's are gone, and negative 9i minus 16i is negative 25i. The denominator looks like 16 plus 9, which is 
25. And I can simplify this by saying, uh, reducing 25 over 25, which is just simply, because the 25's go cancel each other out, so I have negative i. So the result of this, so if I take 4 minus 3i divided by 4, uh, excuse me, if I take 3 minus 4i divide by 4 plus 3i, I end up with negative i. And that's how you're going to divide using conjugates.